During their three-year scholarship in decorative painting, Rome scholars were required to produce a large decorative painting to demonstrate that they had understood the technical excellence evident in the great fresco cycles of Renaissance Italy. For her chosen subject, Knights interpreted the biblical narrative of the marriage at Cana, and she worked on this painting during the last two years of her scholarship in 1922 and 1923. Before starting work on the painting, she had travelled to Arezzo to look at Piero della Francesca's fresco cycle illustrating the legend of the true cross, and in a letter she says that this had a great influence on her own composition. Taking inspiration from Piero della Francesca, she structured her composition with the use of strong horizontals and verticals to achieve a perfect rhythm and balance. Knight sets her narrative in the Villa Borghese Gardens located just below the British School at Rome, where she would spend long hours sketching under the shade of trees. Winifred Knight appears herself at the two outdoor tables as well as the bride within the lodger, a reflection of the fact that she was always placed prominently at social functions due to her celebrity status as the first woman who'd won the Rome Scholarship. But the choice of subject, as with all her pictures, was deeply autobiographical and coincided with her separation from Arnold Mason and the start of her romance with Thomas Monnington, the Rome scholar for 1922. Both Monnington and Arnold Mason appear at the tables, as do many other Rome scholars, including Lillian Whitehead and Alfred Hardiman. Alfred Hardiman's wife, Violet, wearing a coral necklace, is the representation of the Virgin Mary. Knights chooses to animate her scene with slices of watermelon, reflecting the local culinary tradition of serving fruit after the dessert course. In Christian theology, the turning of water into wine is symbolic of the Eucharist and Christ's blood. The happy transformation that will take place in the painting's narrative can be seen to mirror the happy transformation that will imminently take place in Knight's life. She would marry Thomas Monnington 18 months later.